very pleasant good day a very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ and once again well once again this is your christian brother eric braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea speaking to you all in the month of october 2019 in this part two video we have recorded part one video about Christy for the British guy, Christy for Hitchin, who claimed that God is not great. In this part of video, I want to remind my friend that the greatest person in the universe is God. Well, if I am wrong, dear gentleman, Christy for Hitchin, um, if you will happen to see this video or all those who are fans of Christy for Hitchin and believe in his philosophy and his ideology, and you all, like him, have rejected the teachings of the scriptures and have found faults with the Bible and say that the Bible is not an inspired work of, work of God and that it is mythology and that it is not, it is not the div divine reveal revelation of God to man and that you all deny the flood and the Genesis story of the creation and mankind came into existence, that thing with Adam and you all believe in it atheism and say that God doesn't exist well if you are all a part of his clique and part of his bands of non-believers, atheist followers, then if, then you all have to prove Eric Braxton, this little Christian boy, way down in Trinidad and Tobago, right? I mean wrong. So right now I'm throwing out a challenge to you, Christopher Hitchin, my dear brother, and all your followers on YouTube and around the world. I want you and all your bands of cliques of followers to find a person that is greater than God, and bring that person in Times Square in New York or in, or in London and before the, the journalists and the prestige journalists let the film them and record him and let us see if he is greater than God can you find that person my dear sir because you are saying that God is not great and I know God is the greatest person in the universe. There's no other person greater than God because he's the creator. It is he who created all the angels, the universe, physical universe, and mankind. And you who saying God is not great. Well, find someone that is greater than God and bring him in Times Square or in London. Can You have to do that, my dear friend. You see, you can't just be talking that. Find that person that is greater than God and let us see who he is. I stated in part one, you will not find him amongst none of God's angels because God created the angels, God is higher than the angels, and God created the animals. You will not find no animal that is greater than God, and God created Adam and Eve, the whole of mankind, and you will find no man that is greater than God. If you could go back in the past and check on him and see if any man lived who was greater than God, but keep in mind they live and they die. So then you will have to find up, dig up the bones. You think Mussolini was greater than God? Well, find the bones and bring him in Times Square and I will show you he's a dead man and he wasn't greater than God. So, so you have two choices, either find him amongst the dead or amongst living people. Okay, I want to throw out a question to you, my lone friend. Because I know it seems like you are a college boy. Okay, um, I'm not. And I'm simply saying, this is a question to you. Amongst all the 8 billions of people that is alive now, I want you to record a video and name that person to me and to the world who you think that person is and, and, and point out that you think that person is the greatest person than God. In other words, let me give you, if you don't understand what I'm saying, um, let us say the person is the Prime Minister of Japan, Choose he and say, well, he, the Prime Minister of Japan is a great, is, is a, he's greater than God. Or find a next person who you think is a great, who is alive now, who is greater than God and name him. Or if he's not alive currently now, but he lived in the past and died, can you name that person who lived and died who you think was greater than God? So the world will know. So let's not talk that on a stage, or in a forum, or in a lecture. Name the person who you think is greater than God. But you're not doing that. You're not doing that, my friend. You know what you are doing? You just make a statement that God is not great. Well, if God is not great, in your mind you think there's somebody who's greater than God. Well, find the person and name him. So we know who he is. Are you willing to do that? 
uh, that job is cut out for you to do now, my dear friend. And when you, when you find him and you name him, uh, I will tell you now whether he is greater than God or whether he is not greater than God. But you have to do that part first. I am already showing you my part that God is the greater. All, greater than all the angels, my and the universe and the planets and everything. Because he's the creator God. You think I'm funny? You think I'm a comic on, on the show? You think I'm a comedy on the international in the, on, um, on the world stage which all the international community community? I am not that my friend. I am this little Christian boy, Eric Braxton, way down in Trinidad and Tobago. I pointing out these facts to you, my dear friend, and all of you all atheists in the atheist community who are talking about the new atheist experience. That atheist experience that you all are exper experience is denying God. That experience is not good for you all. And all that experience that you all are telling other people to accept that God doesn't exist, you all are bringing a bad experience onto them. Yes. So what, that experience is not good because you all are denying all your creator, God who created you all. Yeah. So this atheist, atheist atheist experience. What do you all mean by that? You all need to explain that to know. That God doesn't exist? Well, he exists. Creation is the proof that God exists. To all my atheist friends out there, brothers and sisters, I have the answer that God exists. The creation is the proof that God exists because everything in God's creation is intelligently designed. And it is a created being who creates all these things intelligently designed. These things cannot design itself. You all, you all doesn't know that. Yes, my dear madam, all that washing machine and that TV and that cell phone that you have in your hand, that is intelligently designed. You know that. Because if anybody come and tell you, madam, the cell phone that you're using make itself, you will tell the person you mad. If a next person come and tell you, madam, that washing machine that you're washing your clothes, it make itself, you will say the person mad. If the person come and tell you, madam, that car that you have outside that you're driving, it make itself, you will say they're mad. You know why? Because you'll be telling the person the right thing. You know why, madam? Because you know, there's a company that make the phone. You know, there's a company that make the, mach the machine. You know, there's a company that make your car, that make the car. And it's people who do that. Ah, you're positive on that one. But when you look at the moon and the stars, you accept the moon and stars exist, but you say no one did not create it. Can you see you're going contrary already? Well, the same way how someone make the car and the machine and the telephone is the same way someone created the moon, the sun and the stars and the planet and that's the created God, the creator God including mankind and the universe and the earth and the fishes and the birds and the bees the creator God well if no one haven't taught you that I Eric Brooks, I'm not teaching you all these things but I'm not boosting myself or putting myself up on any high pinnacle where I will fall off in a terrible fall eh? I am being humble and I'm telling you all the truth it's not I alone teaching you all that all the true Christians and the body of Christ will tell you all the same thing, my dear friend. So I am not alone in that, my dear friend. Teaching you all the right thing and bringing you all to that consciousness, to that reality, to that new, to that awakening, the truth of God, the Holy Bible from Genesis to Revelation. Keep in mind, this is not a philosophy or ideology or teaching on my own. No, no. Everything I'm teaching you all is in the Bible, you know. The principle, I might be quoting that text from Genesis, uh, verse, chapter, and chapter, but everything I'm saying is wrapped up in the Bible, the words of God. When I mention Genesis, well, it's the words of God. May God create the trees, the birds, the animals, the moon, the sun. It's each Genesis. And then he created Adam and Eve. You see the Bible? My dear friend, I'm not quoting exact text and verse and chapter. I'm sending you all to the Bible to read it for yourself. You see, my dear friend, you understand? And that's why you all need to appreciate the Bible, the words of God. It is the greatest book upon the earth, my dear friend. I want you to know that. But you all want to find fault with it and see it is not inspired and it contradicting itself and is a makeup thing by different authors and it comes down to oral tradition and also a flimsy excuse that you all are using to justify that the Bible is not the word of God and is a bunch of mythology. Make up by man. It is a Nancy story. No, no, Nancy story. It is the real thing. It is the real story given to mankind by God, by his inspired servants of God. My dear friend, the prophets of God and the apostles. Yes, all are New Testament. My dear friend, brothers and sisters. I want you all to know that. 
a full hundred percent. I want you all to come to understand that and embrace that truth. Yes, 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 my dear friend. So, my dear friend Christopher Hitchin, I want you to know again in part two video that God is the greatest. Oh, yes, He's the greatest, and there's no one that is greater than Him. Jesus Christ and the Father, because Christ and the Father is one. You read it in the Gospel of St. John. Yes, my friend. Yes, my friend. But but if you want to take up the channel, chant the chant, the challenge to find that person who you think that is greater than God, please identify him whether he's currently alive or he have lived and died in the past. Let's then make a statement like that. Find the person and present him to the world or let the world know who you think what, that a person lived in the past that was greater than God or that a person who is currently alive that is greater than God and let me top it all being honest to you even if you, you, you find that person who have lived in the past and have died live and die who you think is greater than God or you find somebody who is currently alive who you think is greater than God and you present him before us you will recognize that he's just a man a man that says us like all of us, you know why? Because he when he when he when he when he thirsty he had to drink water. When he when he want he when he want he bed he had to bed using water. Ah when you find that person you recognize he had to eat, this as us. When the rain is falling, the rain is falling upon him the same way. The sun is shining upon him the same way. You will find out when you're ready to go to the toilet. Do number. You will recognize he does as us. So then again, when you find that person, you will recognize that he is also wrong also. That he wouldn't be greater than God, neither. I want you to know that. I want you to know that. When you find him and present him in Times Square or in London, for the whole world to see before the journalists. Yes. Now you're presenting your man, man, that is greater than God. Oh yes, whether alive or dead. I want you to know. You recognize that he's a man, there's a zoo, and he come out to a woman who, there's a zoo. Oh yes, you will recognize that. And you will learn that lesson perfectly well. If you're not learning it, I teach you it, my dear friend. You will recognize in the end that all men is just men. And that God, he's the one who created man, a man did not create God. You will recognize it is God who created the angels, and the angels did not create God. You will recognize it is God who created the universe, and the universe did not create God. You will recognize that God is the biggest person in the universe. Yeah, bigger than everything. He's the greatest than everything. As I like to say, the supreme greatest one of everything. He's supreme great. You will recognize that in due time, my dear friend. And I want you to learn that lesson perfectly well. I have learned it perfectly well. That's why I can teach that lesson to you all and to all and sundry. It's true, when I was much younger, I did not learn that lesson. But I thank God that I've learned that lesson well. So I can teach others about it. How wonderful, how wonderful indeed, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God bless you all to accept this message of 100%. Shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.